Calgary Science School was started about five years ago. As the name suggests, it's all about science. Hands-on activities, experiments, labs, lots of math, and lots of problem solving. But it's also about really making that key bridge between the humanities and the sciences. And as the school says, its motto is, there's no such thing as an ordinary day. So let's see how extraordinary things can be at the science school. Scott Petronic is a grade nine teacher at the Calgary Science School. Scott, how many years have you worked here? This is my fifth year at the school. So you're one of the founding teachers. In a sense, I am, yes. And uh, what do you like about charter schools? You know, I like getting up in the morning and actually coming to my job. Uh, you know, when I think of the support I get from administration, from our school board and the parent community, I don't know why I'd ever leave. What's the, what's the, what's the really big difference for you here? I mean, what, what is so different here than from a board-run school that, that, that keeps you happy? You know, I think the support I get for risk-taking in that I'm able to try new things and I'm given, uh, you know, a wide, diverse group of resources in order to try things in my classroom that I wouldn't traditionally get uh, within the regular public system. And are you allowed to grow cash crops here, too? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see how we have our lush environment. <laughs> So what this robot is doing is it's using two light sensors to detect when the page goes dark. That would be the line. And when it does, it turns on one of the motors and turns the other off so that it causes the robot to shift. Every charter school has its own board and its own superintendent. One of the founding board members for the Calgary Science School is Ann Tingle. Now, Ann just happens to be the former chair of the Calgary Public Board of Education. Ann, you first brought the idea of a science school to the board. What happened to it there? Um, they were actually quite belligerent about it. Um, I think they found it threatening, and they could not have been less receptive to the notion. So then you pursued the charter route. Now, why, why do you like charters? I like charters because uh, they have provide autonomy for the school. We wanted to do some different things around curriculum development and around best practices in teaching. And we weren't hampered by a lot of regulations that had to apply to 250 other schools. We were able to make our own focus. We really like that. You have so far looked at the sun, you've looked at the herald, you've looked at the post, you've looked at the globe. All right, you've done that. You know a lot about newspapers. So you're not limited to only what you've seen today. You need to think about what you've seen this whole unit and for your whole life. Right? You guys have been around newspapers all of your lives. Well, this is my fifth year of teaching at Calgary Science School, and it has been an absolutely phenomenal experience. I feel really, really grateful for the fact that we get to explore the potential and the possibility of education today, and we're not limited by uh, the same status quo uh, situations that other school boards are limited to. We're not limited to the same budget concerns, because we, we seem to be able to do a lot more with the money that we're getting from the government. And it is the same money that every other school board receives. This is a, yeah, a mobile lab. It has 26 computers in here. We only really need 25, but we put one extra in just so if one breaks down, we still have one per student. And of course, this lab just rolls into the classroom, and each student takes a computer, puts it on their desk. And that's just a tremendous, uh, yeah, there you go. It's, it's a tremendous thing because uh, you can imagine, you know, they pop it open. It's wireless, so the, this right here is an airport, and it's hooked to our big network. They pop it open. This one's running even because it hasn't been shut down. And uh, they'll sign on with their username and password, and they're into the network, and away they go. Now, how can you do this with, if you get just the same amount of money as uh, an average public school? Well, I think that was the biggest surprise for me. You know, in, in coming to the charter school, um, when you're given the, uh, the grant, the per student grant, of course, there's very little bureaucracy at, uh, within the science school, and as a result, uh, the money stays here. And therefore, this money just is there for the kids. It's not uh, used for anything else outside of this building. And so the money is for the, mo it. the money is for kids, not for adults. Well, exactly. Yeah. Basically, at public school, I was always really bored because it's just having to 
constantly repeat concepts for all the kids who don't get it, but here it's a higher level of learning, so I'm not bored anymore, and we do some pretty interesting stuff. Hilgary now has six charter schools, and, and since those schools have come online, the Calgary Board of Education has has offered a number of alternatives. I mean, we've, we've seen the traditional learning school, the Girls Academy, Spanish Academy, a Montessori school, visual arts. Would we have had those schools without charter schools coming first? It's my belief that we would not have in Calgary. The school board has been resistant over several decades to having um, alternative programs. But I think they looked around and they realized that they were losing market share. The Calgary Science School has been so successful that the Calgary Public Board is now planning to, to copy it. Is, is that true? Well, you know, we're not absolutely sure uh, what they're, they're planning at this moment. We have been trying to find out. But our board did send a letter to their board saying we'd like to cooperate, you know, in any way possible to help them start a science school such as this. Because, you know, our charter uh, uh, mandates that we help others to adapt new practices and uh, to adopt new practices, I should say. And, uh, and we have a lot of things to share with the other boards. So the science school didn't catch your interest? That's okay. Let's try something completely different. Let's go to the Calgary's Girls School. It's Calgary's latest and newest charter. Now, unlike a lot of charter schools, this one was started by educators, not by parents. And they wanted to focus on girls from grades four to nine. And so they've put together a pretty special program that deals with women's history, women's culture, women's issues, with the basic message to girls is simple. Girls can go anywhere and do anything. CGS is the place to be. Everyone wants to come and see how we work together and we have a ton of fun. But sometimes there's serious work to be done. Bright beginnings and new horizons, you're gonna feel like the sun's are shining, even on a rainy day, okay? Question, what does it mean to learn and what does it mean to be a learner? And we talked about that a lot in our classrooms. What would it look like if we were learning? And what does it mean when you say, I'm a learner? And the next question we asked you, and we made you work very hard for about two weeks was, what is your image of a successful woman? Well, we've had the freedom here to be able to innovate in, uh, in curriculum, particularly around a parallel curriculum that we teach called the Go Girls curriculum. This curriculum blends really well with the Alberta Learning's health curriculum and enables girls to have an opportunity to explore issues of body image, self-esteem, assertiveness, making and keeping friends, problem solving and decision making. It is deliberately and intentionally taught to give girls the opportunity to surface some of the issues and problems concerns that young women have in schools these days. We also asked, are there stereotypes that are created about men? Yes. Are they? Yes. Yeah, and what are the stereotypes? Yeah. Um, they're always wearing really tight shirts and you can only see their muscles. Tight shirts, you can see their muscles, yes. They have to be high businessmen. They have to be businessmen, they have to be wealthy, yes. They're all wearing underpants. <laughs> <laughs> they are. <laughs> they're advertising underpants, a lot of them. Yeah. Lynn Bassetti is a professor of education at the University of Calgary. For the last six years, she's been studying charter schools and the whole issue of school choice. Lynn, what does good charter school legislation look like? Um, good charter school legislation makes it really clear about what is the role and purpose of charter schools in public education. And it's really around two things. One is, um, are charter schools to provide more choice for parents, or are they really about...